upmarket cabriolets continue to draw a rich breed of customer, so car manufacturers are ever keen to keep the new metal coming. The latest classy convertible to join the fray is the new Audi A5 Cabriolet, a car potentially so promising, BMW has timed the facelift for its 4 Series convertible to trample on the A5S launch party. Does it succeed? Both are reviewed here in 2.0 litre turbo petrol guys, putting out a healthy sounding 250 bhp. The Audi feels the liveliest though BMW's hampered its 4 series convertible with a heavy folding hard top which dulls its responses when, say, overtaking or joining a motorway. The Audi's L wheel drive quattro system helps it get away from the lights better, too. Not only that, the BMW also has a rough-sounding engine that vibrates the steering wheel not unlike a diesel, the Audi is considerably smoother and much more in keeping with what you'd XPCT of a turbo petrol. At least the BMW has a slick 8-speed automatic the Audi's is good, but not a match for the 4 Series. To stumble in the engine department is a surprise from a BMW, but to also fall down in the handling stakes is a real eye-opener. Again, it's the car's weight, which dulls its agility, while the better traction of the Audi inspires more confidence. Neither car has a particularly great ride quality but, yet again, the Audi's is slightly better. Both cars have good seats and nice driving positions, and neither has particularly great visibility, due to the folding roofs. The BMW's takes 29 seconds to fully fold the Audi does it in 19 seconds. The BMW is a bit in more blustery for those in the front at speed, and neither car is particularly great for those in the back once speed start to rise. The rear seats of both feel hemmed in and tight on legroom, giving tall adults little space to stretch out in comfort. The Audi has a clear lead in terms of boot space though, which shrinks much less when the roof is folded, too, and you get folding rear seats for no charge, whereas BMW charges extra. In terms of interior appeal, the Audi Ace is it. The dash is more modern, better built and simply feels a lot more upmarket than the BMW's. It's like the interior of a much more expensive car, whereas the BMW struggles to justify its £40,000 price tag. BMW's advantage in infotainment has been eroded by the latest Audi system too, which gives you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for free. BMW once again mainly charges extra. At least you can get some great discounts on the BMW, if you're a sharp, you'll end up paying a good £5,000 less than the Audi. So even though it depreciates more, PCP costs will still be lower. And it's the better bet for company car drivers thanks to lower PCP payments and overall running costs. That's not enough to give the BMW a lead here, though. Its roof is behind many of its flaws, leaving it feeling aging and off the pace. The new Audi may not be cheap, but it easily feels worth it inside, and emerges overall as the more appealing four-seater for cabriolet buyers seeking the best automotive sun lounge of first Audi A5 Cabriolet 4 stars nicer cabin, more equipment, better drive Audi A5 Cabriolet 2.0 TFSI 252 Quattro S line Astronic engine size 2.0 litre petrol list price £46,180 typical price after discounts £43,030 pounds power 249 bhp torque 295 pounds feet 06 omph 6.1 sec top speed 149 miles per hour claimed fuel economy 43.5 mpg true mpg 29.3 mpg co2 emissions 151 gkm second bmw 4 series convertible Three stars bigger in the back and nicer steering, but engine and quality are not up to Audi levels BMW 4 Series Convertible 430i M Sport Auto Engine Size 2.0 litre Petrol List Price £43,180 Typical price after discounts £37,949 Power 249bhp Torque 258 Feet 060 mph 6.6 Sec Top Speed 155 miles miles per hour claimed fuel economy 44.8 mpg true mpg 34.9 mpg co2 emissions 146 gkm rob adams is a writer for wakar search for used cars more about bmw audi convertibles reuse content